two mosquito bites from the car from last night when I went to dinner and I just saw this mosquito still in the car and it's like buzzing around. I know it's trying to bite me again. I don't know why when it's full from my blood last night. I bought a mount for the car, but I haven't put it up yet. I think I'm gonna put it up tomorrow or whenever I drive because I'm not driving right now. But I was doing this to honors today. But we're headed to, first of all, I'm back, it's been forever I feel like, since our trip and then it took me so long to like edit the content. I'm still on the hunt for a video editor that's gonna be a good fit. So my emails are open. If you know anyone, have them email me. My email's in the description below. It took me forever to edit the content from our travel vlogs because it's just, you guys have no idea how long it takes me to edit content. YouTube videos content, filming it takes days i mean the travel vlogs were like a week long right or however long we were in each spot and then editing it takes me at least like a whole nother day like from editing to uploading to linking everything to the thumbnail it's a whole process and then sometimes i'll like take a day editing it and then i'll like watch it over the next day to make sure like it's the way i want it to be so it's a process so anyways i haven't been able to vlog in forever and it feels really good to be back i miss you guys and i miss my regular vlogs here in miami so hmm. okay well i'm glad to be back guys i hope you actually enjoyed the travel vlogs i literally keep leaving the camera here right on the map i swear this mosquito it's still there yeah i just i thought i just felt it oh my god no way we're going to lunch right now with a couple of friends and then i was working this morning la went on a crazy long bike ride you were gone for like 24 hours or something crazy. 24, I was gone for seven hours, but I got back at 11 o'clock. Seven hours? 11 o'clock, I got Insane. back. You couldn't pay me to even do that. What time did you wake up? 3.30. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I was sleeping, no thank you. Dreaming. So I took out prints, did the whole house thing, I took care of some things, did some work, and now we're gonna go get lunch. It's 1.20 p.m. in the afternoon. And then I don't know what our plan is for the rest of the day, but it's a hot Saturday. I have something planned. It's a surprise. Something fun planned for us tomorrow, but you guys are going to see. I'm going to tell you later. It'll just be between us. So I can't know. It's a little surprise tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? Yeah, I said Sunday night. Wow. In the evening? Yeah. What's it going to be? I don't know. Cooking class? I'm not going to tell you. I would love a cooking Is class. Is my lip liner too strong? I feel like it's really oh, strong. beautiful. I would love a cooking class. Is that what we're doing? I'm not telling you what we're doing. Is that what we're doing? I'm not telling you. YouTube's going to know in a little bit. I'll tell you guys. YouTube. But you can't know. <laughs> Where are we going to lunch? Pura Vida, the uh, worst. The one and only food Pura Vida. In Miami. It's not bad. It's just insanely overpriced. Like it's actually it's just like stupid so how overpriced like it is. But it's so cliche. But why are we going there? I mean, it's not bad. Because but like, it's just like everyone, no one, like no one had an opinion. I just said vale. But I feel like, like there's we so. We to these spots. Yeah, too. I'm just saying there's so many like breakfast spots in Brickell. But Pura Vida is good. It's just expensive. It's just overpriced for what you get. There's no reason overnight oats need to be fifteen dollars when they don't taste like $15. It's actually upsetting thinking about it now. We never make our way to Brickle anyways. I'm getting my hair done on, um, I have so much to fill you in on. I did an IPL laser around my nose because I have so much redness. Actually, even like here. I have like this spot here. I don't know, I have redness and I have broken capillaries genetically my mom has them. It runs on my mom's side. So around my nose, I get redness because I have broken capillaries. Like these small little, you can look it up. I don't even know how to explain it. But they're broken capillaries. It doesn't hurt or anything, but it just comes with time and age. I don't even know how and why. I asked the lady, like, how can I prevent this moving forward? She's like, you really can't. Because <laughs> with age, you're going to have to do this a lot. And it's also genetic, which I, yeah, we figured that out. Did you just get a new car? So, Did you just get a new car? Oh, that's nice. Hi, Hi so how are oh, you? Oh wait, we met. We did. Yeah, at the beach. Yeah. At the beach. Yes, good to see you guys. That's Nothing nice, likewise. bro. You yeah. said you were going to get service? You yeah, picked it up. I, you know what? I picked it up. Brahmin is amazing. The, the rolls isn't ready, so they gave me this loaner card. Ah, uh, yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just, I kind of embarrassed him, but ah, it's okay. Yeah. We, can you send the Rolls Royce to the to the apartment when it's ready? Yeah, I uh, yeah, they'll they'll just drive it over for me.
finished breakfast or lunch or what whoa, it's four o'clock so i don't even know what that was the food was really good we end up going to be be bistro the food's pretty good i recommend it, it started raining so we kind of had to like move tables a couple times because we were outside and we we're getting rained on it's very typical of the weather here right now like it's just been so rainy and so like thunderstorms every day and trust me i know that thunderstorms are happening because of print he does not like lightning the moment he hears one like tremble it might not even be lightning sometimes but he thinks that if he freaks out he starts having severe anxiety attacks like his heart is pounding out of his chest he wants to like curl up in my hands like it's a whole scene it's a whole like it's a whole like movie with him so um weather's just been crazy but it's because it's that time of the year where it's like very stormy and hurricane season and whatnot tropical depressions and whatever is going on right now so it started raining on us right now it's like totally gloomy originally today we were gonna go one of Lau's friends was having a birthday on a yacht but i think i don't think they ended up doing it because of the weather because it's just so unpredictable and it's not really enjoyable at all to be in the middle of the ocean when there's like rainfall and thunder happening so that didn't end up happening the suitcase that broke when we we're in mykonos his wheel like popped off the remote it's like a brand new suitcase I dropped it off to get fixed and he's just picking it up and we just parked outside in this spot by valet just to pick up the bag because we don't want to deal with parking here in design district is so such a pain every time and i don't if they're making me move if he doesn't come out in like the next minute i'm like he's literally picking it up i don't know how long it takes like the process of like i don't know the checkout process so i might have to move the car potentially let me see i have to put on more deodorant this is not good. <laughs> oh no. It's so hot here. Sometimes it just catches up on you like that and you have no idea. Oh, that was back. Thank goodness. I was not about to circle the block with the car. Belly is like watching us. Okay, my hair is a little bit of a mess because it's so hot and humid outside and then it started pouring rain and it just got all frizzy and I put in a bun and now it has kinks in it and really like what's the point of ever doing your hair here in Miami it always looks like absolute garbage so I've just given up I'm at a point where I just literally give up I wanted to try I wanted to try but I'm giving up officially so I figured I could do a little bit of a not even a haul but like show you some recent packages that came in this week and yeah by the way I'm wearing the Mia top again from my brand. I am actually going to take this to dry cleaners because I think I've, I mean, it's white and I've tried to keep it as clean as possible, but I've gotten it dirty. So I need to take it to the dry cleaners and get it properly cleaned. I think it's Christopher S. Bear or something like that. It has like these ties right here that you can like kind of get creative with. It goes like that. If you tie them tighter, it probably like shows more, but mine's a little bit loose. It has like a slit to like there. And I was just wearing my sandals. Say hi. I know. I know my vision. You too. I love you too much. He got a haircut recently. Oh my god, you're the cutest thing ever. I'm really so obsessed with you. I know you're too good. You're too good for the camera. I know you didn't choose this life. You didn't choose a camera life, but the camera life chose you. Don't be trying to run away from me right now. You're so cute. First thing I got is these aloe yoga shorts. And I have everything linked down below. I got these in a small, and they're just like casual shorts. Like it's weird but i realized i didn't have like any black shorts to just like i love wearing comfortable clothes and my i mean i work from home so i'm in the house a lot i'm not wearing anything fancy i literally am as comfortable and as casual as it gets and then also like taking out the dog and i also got oh my gosh this is actually heavy the dyson air i feel like everyone and their grandma has this by now but i wasn't able to get my hands on it because it's always sold out well i randomly went on the website it's sold out everywhere i've been on the wait list that's a four uh, and I just, first, when it came out, I didn't want to pull the trigger on it because one, this is expensive. Two, I was like, do I need it for my hair? Like, is it going to work for my hair? I just have long, thick hair. And in this humidity, it doesn't hold anything. Like when I was in New York in fall and winter, I really could do a curl and that curl is not going anywhere for days. But like here, it's not like that. So I was like, is this even going to work with my hair here? Is it even worth it? Because my hair is always up because it just looks like crap. And then I finally pulled the trigger on it because I just see so many cute videos of like bouncy blowout curls, which I would do anyways with my, I have the dry bar yellow blowout brush that you guys have seen in my videos. I'm like, if I could do that with this and then also other hairstyles, it might make it worthwhile because you can also use the brush to like straighten your hair, which I've actually been doing. It doesn't last that long, but it looks good. It looks so good and frizz free when you do it. 
inside where it's AC'd and then the moment you go outside, that's a whole different story. But this does really, really good job with my hair when it's not humid out. Thank you to, I've worn this brand before, you guys have seen it. Nadine, oh my gosh, the feathers are a little bit of a pain though. They're going everywhere. Nadine Merabi, it's like this black mini dress. It's very simple on the front and stuff. And it just has a fur trim on the bottom. The back is like the same. So I feel like this is really cute. And I mean, I don't really get dressed up, but when I do get dressed up, this would be a cute option with like a pair of like simple black like sandals or pointed toe heels. I don't know the vibe, but I feel like it's really cute. I got the black mini dress as well. I got this set from Skims. It's one of their new, I don't know what, what style this is. It's one of their like newer sets. It's like in the new arrivals. Again, love a comfortable like outfit for home. It's these like little biker mini shorts with the matching tank top. And this fabric is so soft and it actually is so comfortable, but it like holds you in really nicely, like in the right areas. It's just such a good set. I don't know what it is about this. It's not like it has like a special bottom or anything. I mean, the top has like a thicker waistband. So I guess that kind of like just holds you in a little bit, but even the tank top, like the pairing together is so nice. Like I really, really like this set. I just wear it with like sandals and stuff and it's like such a good set. I got this like huge tote in the mail from Philosophy. So shout out to Philosophy for this bag of goodies. Purity made simple, philosophy. Okay, so we have a bunch of, you know what, I can't. I rarely read those little notes. I like, I just go right into it. So we have these, oh, these are cute, like little, I actually don't wear slippers at home. So there's a reason actually why I don't wear slippers at home. This little guy right there is why I don't wear slippers at home. He just thinks it's his toy. So we have those. Ooh, what's this? We have, enjoy your favorite movie on a big screen, no shoes <laughs> required. This is a projector, it looks like, LED projector. Oh, it's a card game. Oh, this is really cool. Deep questions, personal questions, introductory questions. Ooh, I like this. We have the Purity Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser. Purity Pore Minimizing Serum. Purity Pore Extractor Clay Mask, Salicylic Acid and Acne Treatment. Nice. Pore Extractor Clay Mask, Salicylic Acid and Acne Treatment. Let's do those. Oh, I guess because it's supposed to be like a slumber party vibe. So there's two of everything. Oh, poor minimizing serum. It's for like you and somebody else. And then the cleanser. Okay, so there's pretty much two of everything. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much to Philosophy for sending this awesome tote. I'm really excited to try. I've tried a lot of their products, but I'm, I don't think I've tried some of these. I'm excited to do that. And then the card game. The LED projector actually looks really cool. So I'm excited for that too. Paradox perfume from Prada. I haven't opened it yet. So I'm excited to open that. I'm not gonna open it right now because I just have so many other things. Okay, next, Jisoo sent me their honey infused hair perfume, floral edition. Haven't tried this one out yet. I really like their hair oil. I've been using it ever since it launched. Then we have You To The People, one of my favorite skincare brands is the Kombucha Plus 10% AHA Power Exfoliant. You guys know I love You To The People. I've used their superfood cleanser, their mask. Um, what else have I used? A lot of their masks, their cleanser. Oh, and their moisturizer. I think our, their eye cream as well. I really like the brand. I love their ingredient list like every time. I love, I just love their products. It's never irritating. It's always high quality ingredients, high quality products. They do a really good job of what they claim to do. So really love this brand. So thank you, you to the people. I'm excited to try that out, especially because I love exfoliant products. Chemical exfoliant. Chef's kiss. And then we have the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Love this one too. I have multiples of this, so probably will get that one. This is the Derma Bland CC Continuous Correction Cream with sunscreen. 50 plus. Haven't tried this one out yet. Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate Cleanser. We have these teal blue pants from Maria Victoria. Paolilo, MVP I think is the brand. I've worn this brand before. They have really nice stuff. Teal like long flare pants with pockets. Ow. <laughs> Just almost took my eye out. That was crazy. And then we have U Beauty. Oh, this is the Plasma Lip Compound. I love this stuff. I actually recently shared it on my IG stories and the brand reached out to send me a restock so thank you so much i love love that product i've been using it ever since i got it and we have the kevin icon icon i know i'm butchering the last part icon i don't know 
This is their contour eyeshadow palette and then in medium deep and in light. Dermablend, full coverage, cover care concealer. And then the flower, Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigment. Ooh, this is interesting. And then Elements, one of my favorite skincare brands as well. The Pro Collagen line that they have, I am obsessed with. The moisturizer, it's in different package. Okay, so this is different. This is a Pro Collagen line, but it's the Matrix version. I have the Pro Collagen moisturizer. I've gone through like three of those, I swear. And I'm almost out of my current one. Like I only have a few more days. It looks like from the pot, like I'm almost out of it. I love that moisturizer for so many reasons. It just, it works so well. It's so lightweight. It makes my skin look amazing. It's not harsh. It has this very gentle fragrance. Like it just smells so clean. I just love it. I don't know, that moisturizer is just a good moisturizer. And they sent me the Pro Collagen Morning Matrix Performance Day Cream and then the Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix, so day and night cream. I'm excited to try these. And I'm excited to see how they compare to the other Pro Collagen moisturizer I have. I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I think I'm gonna put everything away and do a little bit of work. us watching Chris Jenner and Kylie what which one is this with Vogue cook dinner together with Vogue it was just recommended so we're watching that right now and we just got back from the dog park with Prince he is sweetie right buddy yes sweetie also about to order some Indian food for pickup I need to run to Target and get some coffee creamer and then we're gonna pick up some Indian and then I don't know we're just trying to figure out what the vibe is for later if there is a vibe no worry buddy by the way I'm wearing that skim set that I showed you guys earlier in the hall it's like the tank top with the little short shorts almond milk creamer vanilla oh we have vanilla and then what's this oh so far. oh sweet cream oh milk this probably has and we're leaving here at like 6.15. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, and I have to do my hair and makeup. 
So let's get started. See, I don't know if I want to do, I don't, do I want to do like a light foundation or do I want to just, I might, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to use my flawless filter from Charlotte. This looks way too light for me. Okay, let's try this. I don't even know. I've never used this actually. Makeup Forever sent it to me. So let's try it out. It's a primer. But it's a hydrating primer, which I like. I'm just wetting my beauty blender right now. I'm gonna barely apply any foundation. So I was telling you guys yesterday that I did IPL and I feel like I've done it once before when I lived in New York. Um, but I just don't remember what the results are or what the results were. So I did it again for the redness around my nose. They said it's gonna take about like four weeks to see results. Um, every like, I guess every like capillary is different. Some I saw results like right away because maybe they're like smaller and like disappeared right away. Some require like your body to metabolize them and like flush them out. So it doesn't really hurt. I really do recommend it. I've seen some crazy good results with IPL. Um, and the place I went to is really good. They're the same spot I went to when I cut, like when I got like the little mole above my lip removed. Anyways, it's gonna take about four weeks. I did about a week ago. So I'll have a follow up in four weeks if we need another treatment or not. It doesn't hurt, it was super quick. I'm gonna use this Giorgio Armani concealer just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I don't, not really doing like a full makeup look or anything like that. Oh, I've been working on so many new pieces for our next draw. If you guys ever have like any suggestions of what you want me to do or what you want to see, please let me know. I love hearing your advice and like what pieces or fabrics or colors you're really into. I would love, love, love that. But I'm working on some stuff for like fall and the next year as well. The last collection did so good and we got some really good press around it. It's so cool seeing like something i storied and like talked about it but the summary of it was if you don't follow me on ig was that it's so cool seeing people wear like pieces that you've spent like literally over a year perfecting being part of the whole making process and then seeing someone wearing that final piece and you like i like remember like the fabric swatches that it first started off with and the samples and like the little changes i made and whatnot and then seeing it on someone, like someone actually enjoying that final product is such a crazy feeling. It's really, really, really cool. So I enjoy so much of everything with the clothing line. And I'm so, so, so thankful for all of the love. Like it does not go unnoticed. And I try to engage with so many of you guys that like support and wear the brand or story about it or, you know, whatever it is, even just commenting or following the brand social channels, like all of that is support and i appreciate it all incredibly and i'm so 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 thankful so thank you guys so much i love 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 seeing you in the pieces it's such an amazing surreal feeling do some bronzer this is like the dark dark shade this is medium dark in the soft sculpt i find this to give you such a natural like sculpted look um i'm literally like hitting pan on it so when I apply my bronzer, I always go higher than my cheekbone. I just go above my cheekbone and then just kind of bronze up on the sides. I do a little bit of my chin where the sun will just naturally hit. Um, also like kind of as eyeshadow in the crease. And then I go over this with like a powder bronzer to like set it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the powder bronzer for Makeup by Mario. Oh, another thing. Some of you guys were asking me if I'm going to New York Fashion Week. Well, by the time this video is live, you obviously are going to know I didn't go. And it's for multiple reasons, but I skipped this season. I've actually skipped the last few seasons. Um, once I moved out of New York, I just really, I don't know, I didn't feel the urgency to go. New York Fashion Week is not what it used to be. When you don't live there, it's such an expense to go. And for me, it just has to feel like it's worth it. I'm really wanting to go next season, but Again, like I just don't force myself to do those things. So thankful for like all the designers that invited me to the shows and like I would have loved to be there to support. But at the same time, I'm not flying in, spending thousands of dollars on a hotel outfits. 
like literally just stressing myself out, running from show to show and event to event. Not doing that anymore, been there, done that. Like, I'm at a different point in my life right now and that does not make me feel good or excite me. So I'm just gonna not put myself in that situation, but I am very, very thankful for the opportunities. I just didn't feel like the need to be there when I had so many things going on here that I think were more important for me to be here at that time. Also, I find like with fashion week, I don't know, it's expensive, it's exhausting. A part of you is like major FOMO, you don't wanna miss out, X, Y, and Z. But then another part of you, like I know the truth behind Fashion Week and what goes on and like it's nothing like what you see on social. You just always have to remember that like when you're looking at social, people show you the best of the best, right? That's what it is. It's a it's a job, you know, and your job is not to keep it real. Your job is to show the shows, your job is to, you know, do the brand partnerships, X, Y, and Z. So like you just have to keep that in mind as a consumer when you're watching everyone's like stories and like, okay, I'm gonna do just a few little freckles. I've been using this hourglass. I used to use the freckle pen, but now I use, I ran out. So I'm using this instead. It's the waterproof, waterproof hourglass gel eyeliner in Voyeur. Like a dark brown shade. So I'm literally just gonna use this as like a freckle pen. I realized you don't need a freckle pen to draw freckles on your face. <laughs> It's just a marketing and selling tactic. Like you literally could get freckles using any like fine point product. So I'll apply them and then I just blend them out like that. I'm going to draw a little brown wing at the end. Sludge that out. Oh, shoot. Whatever. Lip liner, mascara, and then we're done. I'm just gonna use this Laneige lip mask as my lip balm because it's so glossy. And I'm about to apply my mascara and I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Apply a little bit of heat protectant. I'm just learning how to use the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm like getting a feel for it. So, yeah. I feel like my hair wraps really hard. Okay, I'm only doing a few sections. <laughs> Hopefully this looks good because I just don't have the time. Put some like light hairspray, but I feel like <laughs> I did a lot of hairspray. Um, I'm just gonna brush some weird pieces. This is a messy little curl moment. Hopefully they hold because I put a little bit of hairspray in there and I hate hairspray. I really despise hairspray, but I hope that I did enough for it to hold. I feel like my back is looking a little bit flat. Whatever, I really don't have time. I have a mint in my mouth, by the way, but we're headed to the event. I'll show you guys my outfit when we get there. Dave, is there anything you want to say? No. We're going to cooking class, which I was excited to go to. Um, I had mentioned it a couple times, so. That's where we're going. Let's go, let's do it. <laughs> I need a little bit more enthusiasm from you over there. Not really too vodka. Yeah, you're not too used to the vlog, huh? Yeah. Lao just goes, are all these people going to the same place as us? <laughs> I'm like, no, we're going to a cooking class. I think it's just somewhere around here. And unfortunately, we are at the same time as some event going on at the arena. Hi, question. Where do we go for the floor the entrance? It's not a comedy show, it's a cooking class. See? They take your phones because you can't record the person that's teaching us the cooking lesson. It's a celebrity. <laughs> What do you think it is? It's teaching the class. It's a, it's a, it's a comedy show. I'm almost positive. At this point, they take your phones. Wedding like crazy in the back. They're about to take our, or lock up our phones and cameras and all that. So I'm gonna see you guys after, and we'll tell you how it is. Are you excited now? No, I don't know what it is though. I think it's a comedy show. Mark my words. It's a cooking show with a famous person, oh, and they don't let you record it because you can't remember the recipes. It's a comedy show. show. We're walking back to the car and whew, here's a hot mess, but that was so much fun. I hope you have fun. I did have a good time. It was, really, it was good. Lots of laughs. Lots of laughs to the point where like you don't really laugh at. You probably laughed at like 5% of the stuff. It was still, it was still good. I, I myself. 
like laugh at everything so my mouth like literally hurts like my cheeks hurt at some point I would just catch myself catch myself where I would be like sitting there and I'm just like this because I can't close my mouth my cheeks would hurt so much from laughing non-stop but that's like my favorite thing to do is just to like laugh unbearably I think that's just like honestly the best thing in life so I thought they were amazing Kevin was Obviously, I'm obsessed with Kevin. You love Kevin too. He's good, yeah. He's good. He's good. He's really good. I love Kevin. And it started late. It's actually 10.30. We got there at 7. I had no idea what time they were going to start. I knew it wasn't going to be on time. But I didn't know how late. And I guess we weren't too late. We had time to get food and snacks and sit down and like wait for a little bit. And then they got, started getting on. Um, and it was like three opening acts. They were all really good. And then Kevin came on and he was really good. He's just so good. They have pretty good seats. It was sold out. It, it, he was actually here last night. And today was his last night and last tour stop. And both of the nights in Miami were sold out. It was like 12,000 people. So I was really shocked. But we have pretty good seats. We're on the floor. We weren't like right up. I mean, you can't really see him because he's it made shorter. A but I, yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference. That's it why I was like, it's not worth being like too, too close up front. Because I was looking at the big screens the whole time anyways. So yeah, it was a good time. I'm going to end the vlog here, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow, Monday, next week. A lot going on, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. I think it makes sense that I end this here and start the new vlog tomorrow. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.